Hello and welcome to another Cycle Ref TFM video, Fundamental Training for Marketers, brought to you by 3 Chilies, the experienced technology experts. In this video, we're going to be talking about the media items and the media library. Welcome to the media library. As you might have guessed, this is where you store all of the media items on your website. Now the first thing you'll notice is the content tree here on the left. And it works exactly the same as the content tree in the content editor. Now ideally the folder structure here will mirror the layout of the content tree in the content editor because that will make it a lot easier for you and your colleagues to find the assets you're looking for. But the reality is you can organize this tree however you want to. And if you found a system that works for you or if the folder structure was already in place before you got there, you can always use the search to find any items that seem to have gone missing. Be sure to check out the videos on how to use the search feature if you haven't already. There are some real gems of information in there and knowing about them can save you a lot of time. Okay, so before we delve in too deep, let's quickly click into one of these media items. And you'll notice how I called it a media item. That's because in the context of Sitecore, there's a difference between a media file and a media item. An image or a video that's stored on your computer is called a media file because it's a standalone file. When you upload that media file to the Sitecore media library, the file is attached to something called a media item. And this is a typical example of a media item. Now there are lots of different fields within a media item and you can view them quickly and navigate to them using this handy little icon here. What you will notice is that every media item should have a file attached to this field here called the media field. Let's navigate to that and see what it looks like. Okay, so in this case we have an image file of the Sitecore Superheroes, which is a banner image that we made for a promotional campaign around our Sitecore auditing services. So although this is a banner image, know that the media items aren't just restricted to just image files only. In fact, a media item can be a document, a video, an image, an audio file, and it supports a number of different file types. In fact, here are just a few of the ones that it does support, and there are more. So let's start from the very beginning and talk about how to get to the media library. Now, if you're in the launch pad, you can navigate to the media library using this button here, which is the media library icon. If you're in the content editor, you've got a couple of different options. You can either navigate to the media library in the content tree here, or if you want to open the media library separately and remove visibility of all the other links here to save confusion, you can click the media library tab in the page bar at the bottom. Now lastly, if you're in the Sitecore desktop view, you can click the start button here and then click media library right here. Once you're into the media library, you get the same set of options on the ribbon as you do in the content editor, although the insert group here allows you to create new media folders and upload media files too. If you select a media item in the content tree, you'll notice that a new tab appears in the ribbon. This is the media tab and it contains the media group with the actions that you can perform on media items, such as viewing the item, editing the item, downloading the item, which can be really handy if you're missing the original artwork. And as with most things Sitecore, the functionality available to you in this ribbon really depends on your user rights that you've been assigned by your website administrator. But it also depends on the media item that you have selected. Now I've got an image selected here, so I have the ability to edit it, but if it was anything else like a video file or an audio file, I wouldn't have the ability to edit it within Sitecore, so I'd have to pull it out, use the editing software that I've got on my computer and re-upload it. The search tab offers the ability to search through the hundreds or thousands of items in your media library. And notice how when I click this, the little icon appears to tell you that it's only searching for items within the media library, which is indicated by this little icon here, it's not going to search the rest of your site and return results that aren't relevant because they're not media items. Moving across, we have the folder tab, which displays the options and media contents for the selected folder in the media library. And we'll cover how and when to use these buttons in a lot more detail in our next video. This section down here is called the media section, and it's where media folders within the selected item are displayed. And finally, the content tab displays all the fields that you can edit for the media item that you have selected in the content tree. That's been an introduction to the media library. In the next video, we're going to learn how to get a media file from our computer up onto our live website. This video was brought to you by 3Chilies, the experienced technology experts. For more free cycle training videos, head over to 3chilies.co.uk forward slash training. Or if you'd like to organize a bespoke training day for your marketing team, email us or give us a ring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video useful.